Hey YouTube, it's John A. Kainaya Keith. Uh, I'm still rocking the same roller set, but what I did to preserve it, today is the 7th of January. I did that roller set on January 1st, the new year. And it's still hanging in there. Um, but what I did last night, because it was starting to look really kind of crazy, I put about 12 Bantu knots in. I didn't wet my hair or anything. All I did was I combed out the roller set piece by piece with a wide tooth comb and I put some olive oil all over and then in each section I did about 12 Bantu knots and in each section I put um, some Cantu shea butter in each section before I um, rolled it up into the Bantu knot and it came out really nice. The definition is there uh, only thing I don't like about it is that it um, it doesn't have enough height, enough length for me. Um, let me show you one of these knots here. It really gives nice definition, but uh, too much shrinkage for my liking. My front bang comes right under my nose, you know, right. If it was all the way stretched, it'd probably come to the top of my lip, but you know, in its natural state, all the way down to my nose, and then this, it's coming all the way, not even to the middle of my forehead, it's all the way almost back up to my hairline. So, to me, that's just a bit much shrinkage, but um, I do like the definition. So, what I was thinking is maybe I can try next time some flexi rods, the small ones maybe. Um, to give me that definition, but it stretches it when it's being set. When you pull it out, you still have that length. I'm hoping for that. So, um, but this is the way to preserve it. After a while, you still want to have your protective styles, not have your hands in your hair all the time. Put a nice handy dandy beret on. I have about five of these, and still showing the twist. You know, still showing like that I, you know, have a hairdo, but. All these are is 12. I'll take the hat off just for y'all. But it looks jacked up. Warning. Okay? Alright. So, this is the rest of it. And it's not pinned or styled in any way because I had a hat on. So, these are the rest of the bands who not, um, you know, they, they look good. They still... I have pins some in some places. And I still have the back um, in the twist. Let me turn around. It's still twisted back there. And I bantu knotted it. This way it's another. It is a protective style because you're not manipulating your hair. After you do this, that's it. You're not combing it. You're not braiding it. You're not doing anything. So I think it's a good style. You put some um, leave-in conditioner or whatever you're about to put, and you're good. Call it a day. So, I think it's a great style. I think it's a great um, way to give your hair a break, even though I just keep on fiddling with this hair. But it's fine. It's fine. Um, that'll do. So, tomorrow, I'm going to wash it, and I'm gonna, I think I'm going to try those flexi rods. If I don't, then I'll let y'all know. But it's all about styling, not always, you know, get, just trying to stray away from the token twist and puffs. And I was talking to a girlfriend of mine last night. Hey, Fallon. Um, I was talking to her, and we were just talking about how... Just because you're natural doesn't mean you have to just rock a fro or rock a twist out or rock a braid out. You know, you, you can do different things like curls and, and funky and be edgy. So that's, that's the type of natural that I am. So I'm hoping to show other people that you don't have to be a natural and just wear your hair in two styles. Because it's more than that. But anyway, okay, I'm off my soapbox and I will talk to y'all tomorrow on the 8th. I'm sure I will post a video.
but don't don't count on it. Don't quote me. But I'm hoping to post a video when I do my hair tomorrow. Y'all have a great night.